Hi Facebook, this is Pam Bam and I'm coming to you. I'm actually in a different um, part today. I'm in my living room slash dining room. This is the living room over here. This is the dining room. And if you hear a baby crying, it's my grandbaby. And he's here, but he's too busy over there on the floor playing with the um, basketball reel. But I wanted to talk to you guys about um, Michael Jackson. And the reason I have my babies here, this is, say hi to the camera, say hi to uh, YouTube. Hi. Um, his name is Kavion, he's four. And the reason I have him on here because I want you guys to know that um, when Michael Jackson passed away, um, what was that? Um, June 25th, 2009, when he passed away, um, that was my first time really going back to the old Michael Jackson songs. And, you know, I was just so, so caught up in all the media about his death and things like that. So, um, it was very interesting. So I was always on, you know, TMZ and, um, any type of news, stop, any, any type of news, uh, coverage uh cnn any type of news coverage that was covering michael jackson um i was watching because i was so 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 shocked and of course that's been um almost two years ago so i'm not going to go into the details of the um of you know his death or anything i just think that um you know my prayer a lot of the prayers that around the world would be that justice will re reveal will pre prevail for the family and also for um, us as fans. Um, when I was growing up, I didn't really watch a lot of Michael Jackson. Of course, I love Thriller. Like, who doesn't love Thriller? But um, it's crazy because my baby's four. And get up here, Pooh. My baby is four. And um, they can't see you. You got to get away to see you there. He's four. And he was two when Michael Jackson passed away. And ever since, you know, of course, we listened to the, to the radio and they had a lot of Michael Jackson songs and everything on there. So he instantly became a Michael Jackson fan. He never saw him alive. He never, you know, witnessed him like in a live concert, even if it was on TV. Um, everything that he's seen of Michael Jackson, it was after his passing. And I just think that that's the power of the King of Pop. Um, Michael Jackson has some type of supernatural powers that people are drawn to him because he was two at the time. Kevin, he was two at the time and Michael Jackson just still lives on. You know, I wasn't playing any Michael Jackson songs before. I don't even think I even mentioned Michael Jackson. You know, if I heard one of his songs that I like on the radio, I might listen to it or whatever. But I don't know if it was because it was so much coverage and I was addicted to watching the coverage because in my heart of hearts, I really wanted to be not true. And not only that, I really wanted, um, uh, you know, it to not be true, especially for his kids. You know, I lost a parent, you know, when I was younger, 13. And that was sad in itself. But just to lose a parent with that amount of press covering. You know, Michael Jackson just wasn't a Michael Jackson kid down the street. Michael Jackson was Michael Jackson, king of pop to the world. So, I'm saying all this to say that he still have a huge influence on um, even the kids that are growing up now, um, after his death, he still have a huge influence um, on them because, like I said, he's four and he loves Michael Jackson. He danced like Michael Jackson. He listened to the music. I had to buy the Michael Jackson CDs. I don't think I ever had a Michael Jackson CD. Come on, Mickey Mouse. Go and get Mickey Mouse for me. So I don't think he, you know, like he, I, I ever bought a CD um, from from uh, just one second. 
and this is my god baby so I, I mean my grandbaby so I don't think I ever bought a CD from Michael Jackson um, but after he died and my baby became so obsessed with it I mean we was on YouTube watching videos after videos if he saw um, a picture of him even when he was a kid he would recognize that was Michael Jackson when he was singing he would recognize that was Michael Jackson if he come over this way Pooh. if he um, uh, heard his name a song if they say thriller my son instantly like mama that's Michael Jackson that's Michael Jackson so of course I bought the this is it um, movie uh, the DVD for him and man I can put that movie I could put that movie in and my baby would be off in Michael Jackson land because he's a true, true, true Michael Jackson fan. Um, and I just think that is just so crazy even after his death how he has so much and so many people still in love with him and still who never met him, stop who, who never met him are so, you know, and fast, you know, fascinated about him. And, you know, I just thought I would just share that, um, you know, maybe some, you know, maybe you guys know someone whose uh, kids or your child um, are so in love with Michael Jackson. And I'm talking about they built this relationship, their fan base, I call it his fan base, about Michael Jackson after he died you know he was we he, he was a virgin for michael jackson um on the day that he died he did not know anything about him but when watching the tv and the coverage and stuff and he heard that music and it just does something to him so if i really really have something to do and i really need you know to have time where i need him to calm down and him to you know, chill out or whatever. All I have to do is put me a Michael Jackson, his DVD on. And um, if I'm in a car, I will put in the CD and listen to the CDs. And I think the CD is uh, Michael Jackson number one. And then the DVD is um, This Is It. Um, that DVD was the one where they, they had it at the movie theaters, but that's the one where he was um, uh, preparing for his tour that sold out in London, you know. So that's that, D that's that DVD that he watches, and he loves to dance, and he can pop and pow. And my son is not a dancer, so I'm not going to say, you know, he danced like Michael Jackson. We haven't even got that. But he do dances, and he do try to imitate Michael Jackson. But he's not, you know, like these little kids are professional dancers and they can, like, three years old, you can get them to dance. That's not what he is. But, you know, I'm just so amazed, you know, um, people are so surprised of the, um, the connection he has with people, that he had with people. And even at a young age of nine, you know... Even though he went through his things and, you know, God knows everything, but um, I still respect him as a man. Um, I'm just sad that the way he died, it was very traumatic. And um, I see his kids are doing well, and I, you know, can pray for his mom and that she be healthy enough and live long enough to see them as an adult. Um, at least the older two, you know, and you know, even a little blanket. So, let me see if I can get my baby to dance. Pull, you gonna dance? What? What? Just dance. You, you, do you want to show the people that you can dance like Michael Jackson? They can't even see me. Okay, well, I guess he's so into somebody seeing him. He's kind of a shy person. But what's your favorite Michael Jackson song? The Thriller. The, the monster thriller. That's his no, song. I don't want that one. You don't want that one? No, I'm scared. Well, he says he's scared. But trust me, when I go to YouTube, we can watch thriller all day. We just watched thriller earlier today. So, 
don't know what we talking about. But okay then, YouTube. Um, I will be talking to you later, and um, you guys have a blessed evening, a blessed night, cause it's kind of late here. It's late, Jamie, to be going to bed. Oh, he like jam. Um, and also, um, I am going to get them ready for bed, and I will talk to you guys later. And um, please rate, subscribe, and. Um, uh, subscribe to my channel. And when you do, leave me a message and I'll also subscribe to your channel. Um, also. So, okay then. Be blessed. Have a blessed night. And remember, tell someone you love them today. Bye-bye.